But Walt Disney was many things. He was a voice actor, an entrepreneur, a producer. But did you know he also grew up on a farm? His small town upbringing in a Missouri town made a major impact, even shaping some of his big dreams. This weekend in American countryside, Andrew McRae takes us to a small Missouri town that just so happens to be Walt Disney's hometown. They are the characters, the movies, the theme parks that have been a part of many of our lives. And all of them have a common beginning point, a farm on the edge of Marceline, Missouri. Leaving the big city to come to a 40 acre farm where he could have the freedom to uh, chase chickens and feed the pigs and lay under his uh, majestic cottonwood tree that he nicknamed the Dreaming Tree and draw for the very first time. It was an eye opener for sure. Peter Whitehead shares the story of Walt's life from his boyhood farm and museum. Walt always remembered his hometown. He came back here in 1946 to draw inspiration for a very large venture. He was just in the very infant stages of planning what we now know as Disneyland. And uh, there's gonna be a Main Street on Disneyland and he wanted it to be his best memory of Marceline. He took photos and film to chronicle the buildings of Marceline to incorporate into the theme park. Ten years later, in 1956, Walt, Roy, and their wives returned when the town named the pool and park in their honor. This town and their hometown boy had a bond, and the residents of Marceline got a nice bonus when they came to visit Walt's place. Well, Walt was alive. If you went to the front gate and you had a driver's license that could prove you were from Marceline, you got in for free. If that was still the case, Marceline would probably be a much larger town today. Walt's sister Ruth donated many artifacts to the Disney Hometown Museum here. Amazing pieces that chronicle the life of the imaginative entrepreneur. One of the items in the museum collection is Walt's hand-drawn sketch of a themed attraction intended for Marceline. He had plans and had purchased this farm at one point, as well as an additional 300 acres. He was going to build a working turn-of-the-century farm so kids remembered where their food came from. And he sat down in the basement of the Johnson's home when he came to visit one day and sketched on a piece of cardboard what he envisioned this park to be. The biggest Disney sites are in places like Florida and California. To Walt, this little town was perhaps the most important of them all. Our biggest advocate was Walt Disney. He walked around bestowing the virtues of living in this amazing little community. Uh, what a gift for him to give us. Behind me is the spot of Walt's Dreaming Tree, the place where he made those first drawings, and a place that he came back to often when he visited this small town. The son of Dreaming Tree carries on the inspiration today and marks a place where we can come to Walt's farm and dream as well. Traveling the countryside in Marceline, Missouri, I'm Andrew McCray. And remember, you can also travel the countryside with Andrew McCray virtually by visiting AmericanCountryside.com. We'll also make sure to post this on our Facebook page. Well, when we come back, John Phipps wraps up his three-part series on estate planning. That's next. Transition and fairness. 